Hello everyone, I'm Neverdot. Welcome to my channel. We're back with our pixel art and we're going to look at all the interesting cute little drawings, uh, hopefully cute, uh, that we have this week. Starting off with an Iron Age roundhouse. Oh, I thought this was a log. Okay. Wow, it's very flat. It kind of looks like a big symbol. Don't really see any kind of... How do you make this? Straw? Wood? Either or, it looks like brass or something like that. But, yeah, it looks like brass. There's no getting away from it. It looks like metal. Big metal shield on top of this building. Maybe it is. Maybe that's what they made it out of. I'm not an... It does say Iron Age. It could be copper. Brass age, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. Who, who am I to say what the architecture methods of this age was? A dystopian shower. Is this a shower that dispenses glue or oil? Oh, it is a shower, actually. I don't know why I didn't think it was a real shower. 50 bucks of affection? What? What? How does a cold shower simulate a warm hug? What if I want... I like feeling alone. That's fine. This is great. I don't need someone hanging over my shoulder. I don't want your cold shower. This is... No. I'm not paying 50 bucks for that. Hi, Nyan Cat. Are you... Nintendo DS cat, great mod for your DS cat. Uh, please, oh, hey, please roast my works. I've been practicing for one year now and watched tons of tutorials. I just can't seem to improve and I'm thinking about giving up at this point. Ooh, I can relate. <laughs> uh, I need 13 people to watch this video. Uh, let's see. We got blueberries, grapes, blueberries. Do blueberries have a leaf? I mean, I guess they must. I've never seen a blueberry leaf before. Obviously, they have leaves. This is a cake? I'm supposed to be roasting this. No, it looks fine. Wait, what is this supposed to be? This is some kind of potted plant topiary thing. I don't know what. This is a bit too flat looking. Generic blob of green. Great. Kind of looks like a little cat, dinosaur, alien, Teletubby thing. Maybe it's a cactus. Maybe we'll find something worse next. Ooh, a sword that gets really flat down here at the base. No, the sword's actually pretty adequate. We've, we've lived with the Minecraft sword for too long, and this is perfectly fine. I don't see any problem with this one. This donut, though. The center hole doesn't open enough. It looks too sealed up. But otherwise, it looks good. Oh, you're not doing a good job of being sucky. Oh, okay. What is... This one is a little bit better, uh, as far as I don't know what's going on here. So we've got like this goo muffin thing, uh, but we have a straw jammed into it, which I don't really get. Is there cinnamon sticks thrown into muffin cupcake things? Could be, maybe it's an alien human meat sludge. Okay, so we've got some sushi. I don't think I'd want that much salmon in my sushi. This, these colors are too intense. Ooh, no, wait, no, I'm supposed to hate these things. Okay, honey, would the edges be colored the honey color? I don't know. I gotta go look at a honey jar that's half full and see if the edges of the outside take on the honey color. The glare, I don't know if it would be tinted. Probably don't immerse it in honey. I don't think that makes any sense. Overall, um, 2 out of 10 for being bad, 8 out of 10 for actually being pixely, a jasper blossom, and a magic butterfly. Butterfly? You've got a lot of empty space here. Like, think of the environment, people. Don't waste pixels. Okay, if you're going to be wasting all these pixels, well, I don't know, you better gift them to some children in some country that doesn't have pixels. So think about that uh, the next time you're setting your canvas size. Uh, my first piece in a while inspired by Gospo and Koromon. I don't know if these are or what. Oh, cool. Eyeball, head and mouth, stomach. <laughs> kind of actually makes sense. That's where you eat. This is a very cool thing. Did you design that creature as well? Because that's very novel and very interesting. Oh, he's refined. Uh, he's a lot, he's too detailed here. No, this is not a pixel art actually. That's just the drawing. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, well, this one is pixely. So, really, really like that. That is quite innovative and cool. Animated version of the previous post. Well, I haven't seen the previous post. Oh, giving me motion sickness. Very cyberpunk. Uh, yeah, good work. Feels like it's out of a game. Hopefully, it's probably going into a game. So, yeah. Aces. Uh, 9 out of 10 for character art design. For some time, I've had the very specific hobby of drawing pixel art isometric. Oh, I love pixel art isometric 
buildings. I love... Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. <laughs> that one... Because it takes me back to, like, games like SimCity 2000 or something like that, where every single one of these feels like something you want to collect and then set in place uh, in the scene. Gosh, it really, really hits some kind of awesomeness. Everything here is so, so good. This one's a little bit repetitive with the windows, but that's architecture. That's a huge building. Is that real? Wait, are there buildings in the real world that are like this ridiculously massive with the number of windows? That, I think the building is maybe too big here. I don't think you're gonna get that many windows. It feels too dense, but I really do like it. These ones, the, I guess the smaller ones, like that feels like a little bit too big. But these ones are amazing. So good. Oh, I wanna play SimCity 2000 with these graphics. Actually, it was close to these graphics. It feels very inspired by it, actually. Love, love, live, lose. I've tried to do this work myself and I can't pull it off. It's so good. It is wonderful. So tall. I would love to see more, like, smaller pieces, like residential housing, uh, that kind of thing. Maybe I should check your account. Maybe you've done these. Um, you know, or factories, museums. Okay, I'm just reliving SimCity now. Like, I would pay whole bunches of money to have a game where I had to build these buildings because I just, I want to play the simulator management thing, but I also want the graphics because that's really important. When it gets all nice, like city skylines and it's like realistic, I lose some of the enthusiasm because I'm also just collecting the graphics. I just want to see them more. I want to spend more time with them and just marvel over all the handcraftedness uh, of everything. Certainly I might, to improve it, I might just, munge it up, grunge it up a bit so it's not perfectly clean and crisp and copy-paste look. Because the copy-paste, you know, you lose a little bit of the, uh, the impre I'm not as impressed when I know that, like, I just need to copy that level up and, like, obviously you're not gonna repeat all the windows, you're gonna, like, do-do-do-do-do, repeat them, copy them, paste them everywhere. Um, but that's fine, but, like, I would, like, sort of, like, put a little bit of mold on some of them, or a little drippiness, you know how older buildings sort of accumulate some dark spots and whatnot. That just gives them a lot of character, uh, and it would just feel like, yeah, every tiny piece of the art had been touched and inspected and approved by you. Uh, so that would just elevate it to, like, mm, goosebumps level uh, of impressiveness. But this is, like, amazing. Uh, 13 out of 10. Very, very good. Blasphemous inspired enemies, right design. <laughs> okay. Hi, guys. There's a lot of you. You look like very vicious Pokemon. Elephant tusk head. Bear. Oh, we got... I don't know what that is. Noodle arms? It's alive. Pirate. Feels like Sans or Papyrus. One of those guys in that vein of things. He's got a picture. That's a selfie. He's just got a selfie. Is his flag. That's so conceited. And his hat's just an X. I mean, it's, it's missing the skull, so it's definitely just an X. Would they just have the bone? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a professional pirate. Anyways, this looks really good. Um... 9 out of 10. Uh, Toriel's Kitchen is isometric now. Oh, 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 this is close. This is very close to the building's feel. Because again, isometric inanimate objects in a very, you know, 90 degree angle objects. So again, this feels like something I want to like, I want to manage this room. I want to buy things, put them in, put them around in different places. Ah, feels good. It's very, yeah, the color palette, very locked in there. Is that a a giant cake. Love the collecting aspect that this gives me, the little hit uh, that I feel like I should be collecting all these pieces and putting them in and filling this scene. I feel like maybe you need a calendar or something on the wall or a cookbook recipe thing, uh, but otherwise really, really, really nice. Love the feeling here. Afternoon. Ooh, that's interesting. It feels, this one feels like a 3D render, honestly. Is it hand-pixeled? Because some doubts. Uh, just because, yeah, it feels very like you just you modeled it and then boop, rendered it out uh, at a, a lower resolution. If you want to get away from that feel, there has to be, I guess, more like you got to have evidence that a human being set down each pixel uh, to catch that vibe of the handcrafted feel to it. So I guess more, I don't know, any fine details around here because like we're looking at a lot of flat color faces. There is the brick. But the brick also is pretty perfect. This is the ground. The ground's also pretty perfect. So 
I still feel like this is a render. I don't think that this is the trees. Maybe you probably made those. And the, the sky could have been done. The sky looks more like it might have been hand pixeled. But the building itself, I feel like we got a little bit of blender going on there. Fire and bones. Hi, sir. Up your legs. I guess you don't need them. Up your head. I guess you don't need that either. You have to. Your eyes. I think I know why you died. Serious medical difficulties with this person. Um, they set you on fire afterwards. I don't, I'm sorry about that. Actually, I just noticed that it's animated. How did I not notice that? Uh, I'm going to call this guy Celeste. Uh, Celeste is, you know, yeah, having a bad day. Walking around in little stubs. My special friend. You don't want to be messing with things in crates on the side of the street. I mean, it is, what is that, a tentacle? I mean, an octopus probably lives in the sewer. It's probably, see, look, 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 look. See, before when I was talking about making things look more human and touched and whatnot, we've got the grunge on the bricks here. Even though this is only two colors, black and white, we got some like brick damage, sort of scuffing it up, making it look not as perfect, not as copy pasted. It is sort of perspective pointing, so we don't have isometric, so you couldn't copy paste it, but even so, uh, you definitely get a little bit better feel that, you know, someone touched every brick and, you know, supervised every single pixel of this work. Uh, which of these three looks the best? Easy. They just look like different animation poses of the same character. I don't like the head shape here, like this part of the hair. It just looks a bit too small and crunched. Her head's a lot bigger, rounder here. But same size of head here, but it doesn't feel as crunched. I think it's this pixel bit there is like impacting head. I do like this one a bit better. It's cuter with the double, the hair buns. Um, this one, ponytail, less cute, but this one's fine. It looks bigger. The leg here looks a little bit weird. I feel like there might be, you might want to add a couple pixels here so it doesn't look like the leg's getting chopped off or something. This one fits the best for the leg and the head. This one, yeah, has a better foot here. Yeah, this one. Also, the arm here is a bit more awkward. I'm going to go with the third one. Uh, pixelating my creativity. Dive into the digital realm with my latest pixel animation. Every pixel tells a story. What do you see? I see what you have animated. This is not ambiguous at all. There's no room for interpretation. Don't know how every pixel tells a story. Is there, can I zoom in? It, it's pretty good. It's good. It's also a good cutscene, again, in the game. It's that soft music playing in the background and the character thinking and then maybe narrating over top of it softly. That, that, that's what I picture for this. Uh, smoking is bad for your health. Well, you're right. You guys, maybe we could meet again. <laughs> now, and also, you got everything going on here. Where are you? So that's the thing you hold. Yeah, you're definitely in a car. Oh, that's the seat. The perspective and everything of this picture is very weird. Like, especially this guy in the front and where the camera would be against like pressed against the glass of the car a bit of a, a little bit tricky of a angles going on here but you did your best uh definitely you don't smoke yeah it's expensive you're literally setting the thing you just bought on fire uh, anyways this is i made this give me some critiques this is near automata game i haven't played it um you can tell because of the face cover thing i don't have a clear clear memory of the character so much the assets of the character here seem a bit more than what was in the game i think i'm not sure and you might just be going for an easy circle uh there who am i to fault you for that the thickness of this hairline you haven't done that elsewhere so that's a bit odd it's a bit inconsistent i wouldn't double the thickness of the hair it, it clashes a bit with the rest of it recent works Ooh, that's a whole lot of stuff oh hey <laughs> Oh, I see. These are all different movies that you've been watching. Yeah, we had this, uh, you know, the recently. Oh, I see. The Mask. Oh, <laughs> I said this last video that <laughs> that was just The Mask. Did you get inspired by your own work? You just, good to take the same drawing, put Leonardo DiCaprio in, inside of it instead. That's funny. All right. I don't know how to fix it. Thoughts and reviews appreciated. Oh, hello, Foxy. Is there something wrong with this? You look like a Cub Scout. Fox Scout, I guess. Do you have pants on? You doing the animal thing where you wear a shirt but no pants? In this case, it looks a little bit... Put the, put the pants on because you got the roundy butt. And you want to kind of hide that. Hide that, even though it's fuzzy. Otherwise, why are you wearing a shirt? 
you could you could afford the trousers. Maybe it is because it looks like a bit of a fold here, but it matches the, the fur color. So how does it put trousers on? Playing with architecture for my RPG. Ooh, okay. Uh, huh. It looks a bit, again, looks a bit 3D rendered rather than pixeled. Actually, I said before that I tried to do buildings, isometric buildings, and this is kind of what I wound up with typically, where it feels a little bit wrong. Like, it feels that the lines don't look quite right for the perspective. And then the roof, definitely, I always had a problem with getting it to look proper. And I think we have that issue here because everything looks a little bit, askew in the wrong way especially the back of the roof here and this chimney thing it just doesn't look quite right i don't know what this darkness is is this the shadow are you casting a shadow from the roof down to the ground because if so this whole wall would be maybe in shadow i mean good luck getting this shadow to bypass the things intervening it's a bit confusing why is there a rock built into the sort of melded into the building yeah it yeah it's reminding me of my own i couldn't get it right work i like the vine here and the background's kind of nice oh, spin wheels thing but the, the structure here is a bit mm, doesn't feel good and I, I also had a problem with just getting blocky looking buildings and i couldn't think of what architecture to add to it so some people just have that sense of adding good architecture and i don't unfortunately space man I think we saw your brother last time, last week. You look as good as him. Pretty good. I like I like the spaceman. He's cute. Little hobbit. A lot of planets, which you should probably be concerned about because there's no way you'd have that many planets that close. Unless I see these streaks, actually. See, if you're on a gas giant, you'd be dead. But if you're on a gas giant, you could potentially have a lot of moons very close by like this. So maybe you're on some kind of ringed world that has a lot of planets, uh, moons, and that's what you're seeing here, because I don't think these could be planets. Not without a lot of horrifying gravitational effects. Cubone. That is Cubone. Um, great Cubone. Of the end of times. Whoa! Hi, buddy. Oh, you an angel? You, whoa! What the? Oh, hey! Okay, you just destroyed what? The ground? Is there anything you're actually ruining? You look like you're clearing some snow. So this is like the end of my chore is more like. A very nice crisp animation. Uh, the motion, really, really good. Yeah, I like the, the energetic feel to it, the free flowingness. You have good animation eye. Awesome. Which style is your favorite? It's in the last one for this week. Let's everybody gather on, let's, let's figure it out. So which style is your favorite? Is it this one? this one we're just picking hair color oh, okay uh the blue one i mean okay realism wise obviously the brown one here the white one i guess if there's some story to explain it oh the eyes are changing color too yeah i mean yeah oh it's an albino okay it, yeah that makes sense well not really because the skin color should get a lot brighter too i think i like the blue one it's more anime-ish i guess because they don't respect natural hair colors <laughs> sailor mercury i guess good good one to end on we've got to get the award for okay this one obviously wins the best of animation very good animation winner of the animation award the winner of the character award this week is going to the eyeball stomach night whether or not you came up with the idea you've rendered it incredibly well so that is just a strong winner for that category really well realized character and the undisputed winner of the environment award is this building now is obviously missing a lot of environment but it's got key environmental factors here and they're just so stunningly amazing and such good feels of the sim city world please keep going i have to look up your account to see if you've done more of this because hmm very very good fantastic Thank you guys for watching this video this week. I hope you check out our pixel art. It's amazing every time I look at it. And also my subreddit, rneverdot. It features my comics and other random artwork that I occasionally post there. And you can also ask me questions and comment on stuff there. So please check me out. Check these guys out. They are incredible. And I will thank you guys to watch me next week. See you guys next time. Bye.